Hamilton Tiger Cats fans. You're not done here, Tiger Cats. We have the Tiger Cats info you need on their road to Regina. Here on the Tiger Cats Audio Network. The key to success on the field and in your backyard is a comprehensive game plan. So if you're building a fence or a deck this year, trust a Turkstra coach to design, quote, or order the right materials for your project. Visit a Turkstra lumber near you to learn more. From the Tie Cats Audio Network, this is the Coach O Show with Luke Tasker. Regular season is finished. Week one of the playoffs, and the Tie Cats go to Montreal this Sunday for the 1 p.m. kickoff. Coach, you're coming off the, again, air quotes, meaningless game in Ottawa. Did you get what you wanted to out of that last regular season game? We did. We got a win. Uh, I, <laughs> I love it. Important. Yeah, we did. We got a, we got a win, and I uh, thought that was important. Uh, definitely were able to um, rest a few bodies. Couldn't rest everybody. Got a chance to see some players uh, prepare and see what they look like in a game week mm. and see what they execute under pressure and obviously under some adversity and also being tired. So um, all in all, you know, we didn't uh, come out uh, terribly banged up or anything. So, yeah, I think a lot of positives came from last week. One thing that's maybe just lingered and is still maybe lingering, and if not in your mind, at least in, in some in Ticat fans mind, did the last Ottawa game solidify your quarterback situation or muddy the water a little bit? No, this, there's no, there's no muttering, muddying the waters at all. Um, we, we had a plan to go in and play three quarterbacks. Uh, we knew Jamie was going to be our short yardage guy. And if the game dictated that um, he was going to maybe play a couple extended series uh, but Dane, always, it was always mapped out from the beginning. Uh, Matt was going to start. Um, Dane was going to come in and, you know, after halftime. And so that was the plan the whole time. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that Dane's hand was OK and, and that he actually got some game action versus practice. Like it's one thing in practice to uh, have bodies around you. And it's another thing in a game to take off and slide and all that. And so uh, we got a lot of things accomplished that Jamie did a great job in short yardage and you know, Matt opened the game and uh, let us down as a, for a touchdown on the drive. So um, everything's clear. The your defense, coach. I mean, at 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 points in the season that your defense has won games for you, they've been kind of across the board dominant at times. That third quarter, they posted three two and outs for the Ottawa offense, uh, and with. Uh, not the starting front four in uh, a mix of guys who um, who got an opportunity to play. What can you say, and 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 what's your feelings right now um, on your starting defense? Yeah, um, just just proud of the way um, they've responded, um, just the whole year. And you know, I think they were on the field quite a bit early in the year. Uh, at the end of the day, you're a team, and regardless of what happens in a game, your job is to play defense and take pride in it and to get better along the journey. I think uh, when it comes to the last game, you know, we elected to take the ball right off the jump and that, you know, we went down and scored. So the offense did their part. And in the second half, uh, we knew we were going to be on defense first. And so the defense's job is to get the offense off the field and they started fast. And so when you talk about starting fast, uh, collectively, that's what we're talking about. The offense takes the ball and they score. The defense is going to start the second half. They go two and out. Uh, the fact that you could stack, I think they've punted their first four possessions, uh, all four possessions in the third quarter. That's about as good as you can do unless you're going to score and take the ball away each time. So proud of the way they did. You know, they started the second half of the game fast and gave our offense the best opportunity and, you know, you got to credit special teams, too. And that's that complimentary and situation football that we've talked about since training camp. The first third of your season, coach, you were one and five. And then you finish up the regular season. The last six games, you go five and one. Can you pin down, you know, a re does a reason stand out to you as to the difference uh, in your team from those first six to the last six games? Yeah, absolutely. I think we've um, taken care of the football a lot better and we've taken the ball away a lot more mm. uh, combine that with being healthy 
and finding out who we are and and just who's going to play what roles uh, is a lot more defined than it was in the first third. It's hard to it's hard to define all the roles when your lineup is consistently changing, and that's just a fact that we had to deal with. And you know, I think we made some adjustments along the way, uh, be it in the kicking game on special teams. Um, you know, we were able to get Lawrence Woods back uh, later. Um, you know, while we did lose some folks like Dylan Wynn and some things, we did get some key cogs back um, like Simone. Um, you know, Dane stepped up his game. We found a left tackle uh, that we felt upgraded us. Um, there's just there's other factors. We made a trade along a couple of trades along the way. There's just so many things that went into it and in trying to figure out the 2022 football team. Um, just a credit to everybody for staying the course and, you know, just staying unified. Mm. Coach, let's get into a fan question here. Uh, listeners, fans, you can mail in your questions for Coach to game day at ticats.ca. We pick one each week to ask Coach. This week is from Don and Sarnia. Coach, congratulations on the turnaround this season and good luck next week in Montreal. My question is about travel. You'll be on the road for the rest of the season. Do you and the team have routines and traditions on the road? And do you keep them during the playoffs? Oski, Wee Wee, Don, and Sarnia. Awesome. Thanks, Don. Yeah, no, we know we're going to have to be road warriors uh, from here on out, which is a little bit different path than it's been here uh, probably in the last seven or so years um, s- since we've been around here. Uh, yeah, there's definitely routines. Uh, we did change ours up a little bit um, on the road, meaning as far as meetings and when we meet. Um, we definitely, uh, we like to land and, and, uh, once we get there to the hotel, we kind of, uh, give the players, a about an hour to unwind that allows people that have to do media to do media. And then after that, we'll get together for just real briefly. And then we'll usually watch a highlight tape or something like that and go from there. Like that routine really won't change. Um, the routine we want to get in is winning. Uh, that's, that's the most important thing, but yeah, everything's pretty much locked, you know, from everything's mapped out, you know, from the time you land, uh, basically until kickoff the next day. So not, there's not a lot of variance in that. Uh, the one difference Don, I would say would be the one o'clock kickoff. So everything's going to happen quite a bit faster. And we hadn't, you know, outside of Labor Day, we hadn't had any experience, but that was a home game for us. So from here on out, uh, we're going to have early starts. So that would be the one main change. Yeah, great. Don, thank you for that question. That's great stuff. And uh, again, you can email your questions in for Coach O at gameday at, uh, at ticats.ca. Coach, this week you get sort of the extended week just by one extra day just for the Sunday uh, playoff schedule games um, and no practice till Wednesday. Are the playoffs even more so than regular season? Is it more even more so mental than physical at this point? I think it's both. It, there's definitely a mental aspect to it uh, that you can't ignore. And uh, playoff football is physical. Football is physical in general. Um, but it just, for whatever reason, there's just a more intensity for just a little bit longer. At the end of the day, it's always about execution and how you prepare. But there is a little bit more. Things are a little bit different, uh, meaning, you know, three teams aren't playing. And after this week, two teams won't be playing. So what does that mean? It means there's just a little bit more media. There's a little bit more riding on it, you know, meaning there these are elimination games. Mm. And those things are exciting. That's what you want to embrace. So you have to understand that there is going to be more attention the closer you get. And you know that, Dane, or uh, Luke, from having been a part of um, going to, you know, multiple Grey Cups, that each week there's just one more media person around and one more thing that you could possibly be distracted. And that's what you earn, but you can't. You can't deter from what got you there, just the grind in the process. So to, you know, we make sure that our players are prepared for those things because some people get asked questions that haven't been asked questions all year. And all of a sudden they're in and now that's a different distraction. Um, So, um, yeah, we're just we're just looking forward to the whole thing. This is something we clawed and scratched to have the opportunity for. And you enjoy the buildup because it is a sports entertainment business. But you want to remain focused at the same time. You brought up the fact, Coach, for all for the playoff stretches that I was a part of, 
we often did have the benefit of playing at least one of the one home game, even if it was the semifinal, but we'd have a game at Tim Hortons field. Um, though all of my, uh, great cups were out West, uh, like this year's is, um, this year you'll have to, you'd have to go Montreal, Toronto, and then out to SAS to win. What will it take? What, what extra little, little something more, a little special from your team will it take to, to have three straight pretty tough road wins? Well, it just starts with one and it starts with day one practice. And I know that gets a little repetitive, but anytime you get ahead of that, you're focusing on things you can't control. Um, you use it as information and maybe how you plan or how you would plan. But everything now is coaches prep uh, leading in. You know, the players will be off tomorrow. We're going to go with the three-day practice week and and go from there. And that's that's really the, the sole focus. Um, definitely, we know it'll be a different path. Um, we're prepared for it. Uh, it's been acknowledged. We know that. But I don't want anybody looking at anything past the day off tomorrow, quote unquote, which really should involve taking care of your body, getting a little more treatment, one more cold tub, turning one more page in your playbook. Uh, What we've done so far has gotten us here. Uh, It's going to require a lot more um, to end up right what you just described, and that's to be into Saskatchewan and to win it. Uh, We know that. Uh, Just want everybody focused on their day off, whatever that may look like to them. And then day one, laser focused, ready to go. Coach, as you prep for this game, you've played Montreal three times this year, one and two, your record against them. And it's been some weeks. And of course, your team has changed drastically since those summer uh, games now. Are you more inclined to watch the most recent games from Montreal? Or do you are you more inclined to look back at your three matchups with them as you study film? Definitely both. Absolutely. You you want to see how they played you, what the thought process was um, at that given time. Uh, you also want to see how their players have, quote unquote, improved mm-hmm. um, what they're doing with them and that sort of thing. So I think it's safe to say you look at both. Obviously, you, you don't want to saturate yourself uh, with too much information, um, but you definitely want to get some information, uh, put together a plan and then quickly return the focus back to ourselves and our own execution and preparation. That's great. The Coach O Show with Luke Tasker is presented by Turkster Lumber. Check out the project coaches at Turkster Lumber. They can help with every part of your home renovation from designing a deck to ordering a new front door. Learn more at turksterlumber.com. And be sure to send your fan questions in for Coach to game day at tightcats.ca. Hoping for three more Coach O Shows this year. Uh, one to uh, one to follow up if you can find time in the uh, celebration week after the Grey Cup would be the third from here. Uh, we'll surely have one before each game. Uh, Coach, as you get ready for Montreal, um, what extra motivation do you have for your team? You mentioned highlight tapes. Is there something uh, something fun, something a little bit unusual that the average listener may not know about as to the uh, inspiration for the Ticats going into the playoffs? Yeah, there would be a few things um, that I will share after the Grey Cup for <laughs> sure. But, uh, yeah, you always want to keep things fresh. I guess that's where I'm going with it. I mean, there is a such thing as the routine and wanting to follow that. And then there's also, a, you know, an aspect of having a little bit of fun um, while keeping it serious. Because um, at the end of the day, you can't do football 24 hours a day. Um, and if you do, there's no guarantee that that means you win. So it's a, that's why I truly believe it's about uh, dealing with them as people first, players second, and then also understanding your football team, where you're at, uh, where we're going, and, and definitely how to get there. So we'll have a couple of things um, lined up that are um, maybe a little bit different than the past. But other than that, you know this, Luke, like the, the best players that I've been around are, are mainly self-motivated. Um, our job is to find out what it is and make sure that I keep it ignited. Cool. That's great. Well said, Coach. Uh, best of luck as you prep for Montreal. We're very much so looking forward to the to the call. 1 p.m. on Sunday, Ticats in Montreal for the semifinal uh, for the East Division. Coach, great talking with you, man. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Luke. 
Another episode of the Coach O Show with Luke Tasker is in the books. Let us know your thoughts. Email us at gamedayattiecats.ca. Coach O and Luke are back next week to discuss the latest from the locker room. Subscribe to the Tie Cats Audio Network on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.